Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 16th, 2023. Well, yesterday, guys, you know, technology is a great thing, but for some reason, yesterday, um, technology decided to toss me a curveball. Um, it didn't like me for some reason, and although I had the video recorded, I could not get it to load for anything. I tried and tried and tried and couldn't get that video to load yesterday, so I apologize for the missed video yesterday. Hopefully, we won't have that same problem today. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, we had an issue yesterday with some data pushing us down, creating some bearishness in the market. And obviously we all experienced a little bit of a pullback here in the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in and let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. And once again, I apologize about yesterday. For some reason, YouTube just didn't like me. It wouldn't take the video. Let's take a look here in this chart. Well, what I had talked about yesterday <laughs> is that we wanted to watch this support level as we learned that uh, from Fitch that our major banks could be receiving a credit downgrade here soon things don't change and they made a specific point of pointing out um, uh, JP Morgan uh, would also be included in that kind of raising the bar of seriousness in that um, report so that brought out the bears and we also heard the day before that China's economy continuing to slow major issues in the real estate sector over there and that really brought the bears out despite the fact that we had better than expected retail sales so uh, breaking this down as you can see we tried up here to punch back through that resistance in the chart so i'm going to serve this now is serving as the um, lower high in the market where we tried to push back up couldn't get get through there served as a lower high and now breaking this low kind of confirms that little downtrend here in the chart now it's not terrible at all in the diamonds but you can see we still have some pressure here uh, mounting potentially this morning with uh, mortgage applications coming in um, uh, with mortgage rates at, at matching a 22 year high now uh, mortgage applications continuing to to decline this morning sharply. Um, we're still waiting on news um, um, how um, Target is going to perform in their earnings report this morning. So that could change this still. But looking at this, we've got a little bit of a problem in here. And so breaking that support is is probably raising some concern here uh, with the bulls out there thinking those folks that were kind of thinking there was absolutely nothing wrong with the market we, it was all up there was never going to be a problem again that's not looking to be the case there is some underlying issues here really changing things here in the market and uh, raising the bar of uncertainty so looking at this if the bears continue to find inspiration today then I would look for that push down into this area here. If they can continue to um, drive the market on the bearish side down in there, that would be a fairly painful pullback because that's actually a pretty big point move into that area. And what you'll notice is that's going to bring us pretty close right here, pretty close to that 50 day moving average. Once we start getting close to the 50 day moving average, we often see that 50 day moving average pull us down. And that would be um, just the diamonds joining the rest of the indexes right now. If we take a look, if the bulls find that inspiration here in the day, well, maybe a push back up and break back above that support area would be a good first start. And then we would look at maybe um, an area up in here 
to test in resistance for those uh, that bullish push. If we take a look at our um, S&P 500, our S&P 500 yesterday um, slipped below that 50 day moving average. So a little bit of concern raised here in the market as we move in this a bit of a downtrend here, breaking this um, key support here as well in the chart. Now, keep a close eye on this. If we were to continue to see those bears um, um, capable of pushing here, notice that the next level of price support would be down in here. And, and that's actually pretty decent price support. So if we continue to push, that's a big point potential move that we could come down to that next level of support. If we can rally back up, and there is that possibility, I'll show you some data here that will show that we probably are getting closer and closer to a little bit of a relief rally in the market. If we can rally back up, let's notice right in here, this little resistance area in the chart where we've been swinging around in these big candles right across there. So a rally back up, we'll wanna be watching that closely and keep in mind, that's gonna kinda of coincide with this test, um, this little downtrend test and of course the trend break that we're seeing here in the chart now of course you may draw your trend a little bit differently than this and i think i could probably adjust this just a little bit um, i'm not too particularly worried about my trend lines as all as long as i can kind of see where that's leading me but if you'll look right in here um, right in here we've got a kind of an accumulation of a resistance zone that we'll have to be watching in the chart if those bulls were to push back here in the market. If we take a look at our QQQ, you'll also want to notice that our QQQ failed under the 50 day. We had rallied back up to, after we broke it, rallied back up to test and then we see that selling in here underneath the 50 day moving average pushing down. The good news, however, is that we didn't break this low. I mentioned yesterday in the morning video that didn't get posted that um, I don't think things get ugly in the QQQ unless we break this support area. If that breaks, we're really going to shake the confidence of some of the traders in here in the market. So watch that closely. We got a little bit of bearishness here showing this morning after uh, that mortgage data, but watch that carefully. Now, keeping in mind, we also have that big triple whammy to the upside. If um, we can push to the upside, notice we've got this little downtrend right here. We've got the trend break uh, serving as resistance, and then we have this resistance over the top. So we're gonna have to break through all of that area up there to get those bulls uh, coming back in. Watch that pretty closely if they find inspiration today. Um, if the bears uh, continue to push and we were to break this support, um, I want to uh, point out that that next level is probably down in here. So that could be a pretty painful move to the downside if that were to occur. So watch that carefully. Our IWM, IWM also closing below its 50 day moving average. Um, pretty ugly um, sell off there yesterday. And more importantly here uh, than the 50 day, we kind of gave up this little bit of price support just ever so slightly. Not so much that we can't bounce right back up there but here again, we've got an accumulation of some bad points here in that chart that could provide multiple levels of price resistance. So if the bulls find inspiration, we need to punch through this area here. We need to get up through all of those levels in the chart and then we'll, we might see a little bit of um, recovery in the market. If we can't get up through there and the bears find that inspiration, well, you can look in this chart and you can see it, it's, it's a bit of a move down to the next level of price support. And I'm going to put it somewhere right in here. Notice we've got all of these little spots right through here. This is a little bit um, above the support in that area. But you can see where we could come down into somewhere into this range if the bears continue to push. And those bulls kind of throw up their hands and give up for just a little bit. So we'll want to watch that close. Um, let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX is also showing us that little bit of concern. As you guys know, I've mentioned this many, many times. 
um, for the first time in months now, we have broken this downtrend in the VIX and we are now holding a higher low. We had some bulls push in on that VIX, raising that uh, threat here in the market. So for the first time, we have that higher low potential showing up in the QQQ in many, many months. And that's probably raising some concern and maybe shifting that real confident level that we've had in the market to more of an uncertainty. So watch that closely. If this continues to extend, that could be a problem um, because real fear will start to come in if that really begins to extend. If it pulls back into here and continues Continues to rest in this range that would have to assume that the bulls find inspiration uh, to to catch a relief rally then somewhere in that range um, would be okay we could rest in there for a while and maybe ease some of that fear that's starting to creep up here in the market so watch that closely now this also happens to be one of those patterns that um, we talk about all the time in hit run candlesticks and right way options and that's the rounded bottom breakout and that's where we cross over that 50 and hold it as support and then we look for that run uh, to the upside um, on those charts so uh, yeah a little bit of a problem coming into the VIX that we'll want to be keeping an eye on then if we take a look at our T2122 this gives us our best hope that we get a relief rally soon and that is that we have finally reached down here into the bullish reversal zone in T2122 now I will point out the fact that we lingered up here for a very long time in that extreme market exuberance that we were experiencing in this rally. Now, because of that, we do also run the risk, as we've seen like in times like this, when we have been overbought for a period of time, that we could linger down here it really is going to be dependent on the data. The data that we receive in earnings and economic numbers here um, will be really important as to whether or not we will catch that relief rally here soon and bounce back up or if we linger here for just a little bit in the market. So we'll have to keep a pretty close eye on the data. But one thing is for certain, we have finally relieved a lot of that overbought pressure and now we can start watching for that potential of a relief rally um, in the market. Now let's take a look at our T2108. Our T2108 continues to slide south. And unfortunately here on T2108, we gave up some of this support. And by the way, if the, you're, this is the first time you're listening, T2108 is just nothing more than percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average. So we can see internally in the market, we've kind of broke, broken that upside trend that we have been moving in. Obviously that steeper trend gave up some time ago. But now we're starting to show a little bit of shakiness in the market. The good news is that there is still some price support in here that we may catch on and maybe get that relief rally coming into the market. But as we, if we do rally, we'll want to make note uh, that we've created quite a few resistance areas on the way back up. We've got just um, right there about 40% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. If we take a look at our T2107, this is the percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average. Also broke down through support levels yesterday in the chart obviously that trend had given up some time ago and we've got some additional support levels down in here that we could catch um, in that chart if we continue to push lower but remember if we do catch that re relief rally we'll want to be watching these resistance levels um, above for the first time in some time dropping back below 50 percent of the stocks um, above their 200 day. And then if we look at our T2101, this has been really concerning for me in the fact that we've been getting these big price moves, but we're seeing really low market breadth. And um, 
yesterday on the sell wave we got a little bit of spike in that market breadth so you can see if the if we do have data that continues to support the bears you could see how we still have plenty of room in that breadth move that could drive those bears to push us even lower and keep us down in that overbought area of the market for a period of time if we can find some good quality data um, in the market well hopefully we can see the bulls come in with as much enthusiasm and pick up on that market breadth in a relief rally so watch that carefully if we take a look at our economic calendar today well we've got quite a little bit to uh, be dealing with here on the economic calendar uh, this morning we have, uh, i've already mentioned a couple of times the mortgage applications not good um, this morning pushing uh, futures just a little bit lower we're going to come into housing starts and permits here soon um, consensus is looking for an improvement in those numbers let's watch that closely with mortgage applications and rates continuing to move higher we're seeing our bond yields be very very sticky the two-year bond this morning is at 4.90 percent so we're really not making all that much improvement in the bond market to show that there's an easing in that rate structure um, our um, interest rates now at at 22 year highs that's so uh, it may be a little bit of over optimism to suggest that housing and permits increased and improved. We'll see today. Um, I could be very wrong on that. And then we've got industrial production, probably going to be one of the more important ones here this morning. This is also expecting a little increase in the consensus. Then we're going to have our petroleum numbers, which is going to be really key with the weakness that we're seeing in China. Um, this could be a really key report on that. Um, yesterday we saw oil prices sinking with worries that the demand destruction coming from China will reduce um, um, those um, those numbers so watch that carefully and then we're going to have a, a bond auction and then of course the FOMC minutes now I don't think we'll actually learn anything more from the FOMC in those minutes but um, we usually see some volatility around it. So once we get through this morning session, don't be too surprised if the market becomes very light and choppy as we wait for this number. And then as soon as that number comes out, everything goes nutty for just a little bit. So um, be prepared for that. And then we'll no more than get through that. We're going to be thinking about jobless claims and the Philly Fed manufacturing number. And if you saw how horrible the Empire State manufacturing number was on uh, Tuesday, um, this might be a little bit of concern in uh, Thursday morning. So uh, watch that closely. Now on the earnings calendar today, um, I, I had some kind of data problem here and so I, I got a fairly small list um, um, on this calendar for today so I'll run through these really quick of notables uh, ZIM um, reporting today looks like um, disappointing here on that uh, this was one of those charts that was really hopeful I'd had an alert up here hoping that that would continue to that upside yeah not so much not looking good here on ZIM um, we're going to hear from JD today JD also disappointing here this morning uh, going lower so watch that closely we're still waiting um, I believe on target well maybe maybe target has just recently come in um, we're showing a pop either that or it's an anticipation in the pre-market that target will have a good number you'll want to keep an eye on that I'm not sure that that report has come in just yet so watch that one closely we've got um, TJ Maxx that will be reporting today looks like that's trying to pop higher S-T-N-E will be reporting Stone Co. Um, watch that one close. And then Cisco uh, this afternoon will be an interesting one to watch and probably our no most notable for this afternoon. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. 
And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And of course, being able to get a video loaded helps the channel to continue to grow. So thank you to everyone who puts up with some of the, some of the problems in tech um, here getting these videos out. Um, I truly, truly appreciate you all. Thank you so much for being patient. Um, if um, you find the video to be um, useful, please feel free to share it out on your social media feed. And remember, you don't have to write a, a long conversation on, on um, those notes if you just place an emoji. That also counts as a um, reaction or um, um, engagement with the video, and that helps a bunch. So thank you, everyone. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And let's remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful. Make sure you're following your personal risk tolerance following your rules never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea do the work make the evaluation that'll be very helpful to you in the long run first off let's take a look um, yesterday Home Depot um, reported earnings and although they beat on earnings they warned that the consumer is weakening or the consumer is being challenged and um, keep an eye on this this is still a very bullish chart and although we ended up with this long-legged doji um, and whipsaw in here you want to also make note that it really didn't sell off with the ugly market that we had yesterday Yesterday, it held up nicely in here. So if we can get a little bit of bullish action coming into the market or a little bit of a relief for action, we might actually see that respond to this trend here and move on higher. I'd keep an eye on that. It's still looking pretty good. You could also take a look over here at Lowe's. What's interesting about Lowe's to me is we gave up this trend. Um, and then we fell down through this support. But what's interesting to me is that possibility that this could make a higher low. And that's how a trend can resume. So we make this low, rally back, get it back above that support, hold, and then you look for that next opportunity for the upside in here. Just keeping in mind, this is gonna report on 822, so anything is possible here, but it may be worth keeping an eye on. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA had a huge move on Monday, really rebounding strongly, and yesterday, even with all the bearishness that we saw in the market, well, it didn't really sell back off. We ran into some price resistance here in the chart and tried to hold it. We ran into this downtrend here in the chart. So that is still a bit of a concern. We'll wanna watch this carefully if Nvidia can push on through. This was the main driver in bringing the NASDAQ back up on Monday. Um, we'll wanna watch that closely. If it can push through here and hold, then we can resume that uptrend here. Kind of keep in mind, this is gonna report on 823, so there is that uncertainty out there on NVIDIA to be watching. Let's take a look at the, our banking sector. Well, things kind of fell apart here in our uh, banking sector yesterday, not only here in the big banks on XLF, but if we take a look at our regional um, uh, bank area, we also started to show some problems coming in. Now on the KRE, we're coming into a price support area, trend area of the chart. So it's still possible we can move to the upside, but I do think it's interesting that we have become so confident in our regional banks when we even hear Janet Yellen saying, there's gonna be a lot more bank consolidations coming up. There's a lot of banks out here still in trouble and in desperate positions because of the debt that they carry um, in the market. So watch that closely. Any rally back to a resistance up in here may actually set up the next short. And I'm gonna say the same here. I wouldn't chase short. I'm already short in XLF because I, I have believed for some time our banks are not in a bullish condition that everyone um, um, expected them to be. Um, and we still have additional issues cropping up. We've got um, consumer credit 
um, is at all times all time highs and we're starting to see credit defaults increase right at about the time when we're starting to see the jobs market weaken it's not a good combination and we also know that we've got a commercial real estate problem that's looming over all of these big financials out there that is likely not going to improve because people don't want to go back to the office so that's going to make refinancing those um, empty buildings pretty hard to do and so um, we've got this selling in here i wouldn't chase this down um, any rally back though any rally back i would be looking for that next opportunity to pick up a short here in um, xlf keep a close eye on that I do think we still want to be keeping a pretty close eye on energy. Um, the XLE had a pretty rough day yesterday pulling back. We saw a lot of our um, a lot of our oil sector stocks pulling back with that worry from China on and possible demand destruction. But you know, you'll notice in here in XLE, we're finding some price support in this chart. And we still have this trend in our favor. So if we can get some good data in here and per perhaps the oil, um, the per petroleum status number could provide that today. Watch this area. If we can kind of hold this um, area, relax a little bit, we may still have more upside here on, on oil. That is assuming that we can finally start to see our dollar slow down in this upside move and maybe even begin to weaken. You can see the US dollar being very strong and a possible breakout up here. Um, if we can break out and hold up above this area, then our dollar may go higher and that could drive all commodity prices lower. So watch that one close. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much uh, for being here. Fingers crossed that this video will load and um, I want to wish you all the best. We'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day. everyone.